It is Tuesday, the 25th of May, and it is my 17th day of Stitch Mayhem. So I wanted to show you where I got to yesterday on Olga and what is on deck for today, because we've got another got another uh, new start. I thought it was a whip. I think yesterday I told you that it was a whip, but today is a new start. So, but let's first talk about Olga. Uh, Olga was a whip, is a whip. Not like I finished it yesterday. Uh, and I started it last year in May and uh, worked on it a little bit yesterday. So I'll show you where I got to on Olga. Ta-da! I switched the pumpkin. I did, I did the pumpkin yesterday. Uh, this dandelion, this lighter color dandelion stem is super close to the fabric color, but I think it still works great. Um, I love this little stripey pumpkin. This color here is old oak tree or old oak leaf. Um, let's see, old oak tree by Crescent Colors. It is fantastic. So I got that little pumpkin stitched and uh, yeah, not a ton of stitching time yesterday. It was a two-run day down to the studio, um, which doesn't leave me a lot of time for stitching in the evening, but love that pumpkin, love Olga. And uh, yeah, so got a little work on Olga yesterday, and today is a new start. Uh, this day last year, I started Home of a Needleworker Squared, which I have not only finished, but fully finished. That's nothing short of a miracle. Uh, so I get a new start today. So I was going through my stash of kitted up things to see what called to me and decided to do another stitching, since that was home of a needleworker, another stitching related project. And that is Mice in the Sewing Room. I had this kitted up for last year uh, in May and it didn't get called and it's just been kitted up and I just love these little mice um, and I did I have plum pudding and it's fully finished and I really enjoyed that stitch and so I'm gonna do mice in the sewing room so I had kitted with it this piece of fabric and I'm not totally positive what it is it's an R&R &R, but I'm gonna have to look back it's the piece that I did plum pudding on um, that I know so I, I need to go back and look and see what the colorway is on this R&R. &R. Um, but, and then I think, I'm pretty sure this is mostly called Four Threads. Um, so, yep, excited to stitch that. It's really cute. So we're going to get started on that today. And I will be back tomorrow to show you how far I get on that. I'm going to start in the top left as usual. So... We'll do pins and maybe get started on that tomato. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow to show you where I got to on this. And honestly, no idea what tomorrow's project is. I feel like it's a whip. Might be fragments in time. We'll see. It'll be a surprise tomorrow. Uh, but until then, hope everyone is having a great day. We're getting towards the end of May. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.